Today I'll be talking about the center of gravity. The center of gravity of a rigid body is a point at which its weight can be considered to act when torque due to its weight is being calculated. So we take a rigid object like this and we determine what its center of gravity is. It's a point in this case since it's uniform right in the middle. The center of mass um, and the center of gravity are really located at the same point as long as we can consider the um, gravitational constant not changing over the height of the object. Um, so if you take something like the Empire State Building, maybe the center of gravity and the center of mass may differ by you know, a half inch or something like that. So for all intents and purposes, they're really the same thing. When an object has symmetrical shape and its weight is distributed uniformly, the center of gravity lies in the center of it, um, which is kind of obvious. Here's an interesting example. Um, this is a plane that was loaded incorrectly. Okay. Um, now, how did this happen? Well, it's easier to look at a little mock up here. Here's a normally um, loaded plane. The center of gravity or the center of mass has to be located between the support bases um, so it doesn't topple. What actually happened in this case is the center of gravity was beyond one of the supports, created a net torque, and it rotated. Okay, up until this time we have assumed round objects, and was this wrong? Not really. Uh, the center of mass follows rules and equations we have already worked with. For example, let's consider uh, a hammer being thrown. Even though it's making this funky shape as it, as it rotates, the center of mass still follows a parabola. Um, so all the um, problems we've done so far, we've really been only thinking of the center of mass and ignored the fact that it could have been rotating. There does not need to be material uh, where the center of mass is. An example of that would be a donut, the center of mass in the middle, or even a chair, the center of mass would be down here someplace. Objects will hang so its uh, weight acts through its center of mass. And why is this? Well, I'll try to explain it. First, we're going to hang a wrench. Um, it will rotate back and forth so that the weight um, has to be somewhere along this line. How do we know it's along that line? Because if it wasn't, it would rotate. So it naturally comes to rest where the weight or the mass is somewhere along this line. So if we hang it from another position, the same is true. And where the two lines meet must be the center of mass or center of gravity. An object will topple when its center of mass extends beyond its support base. This is very similar to the, the plane I just showed you. Um, so here you have a couple people doing some type of acrobatic stunt here. But we know the center of mass has to be over her hands. Um, if not, they would topple. And we're going to talk about it a little bit with the uh, different types of equilibriums. It's not going to be on your test, but I thought it was kind of interesting, so I wanted to explain it to you. Okay, so why do objects topple? If they're in a stable equilibrium, any displacement raises the center of mass. So let's take this block. And the red line will represent the center of mass, the line of center of mass. And smiley face will be the center of mass. And if we lift it, or rotate it, the center of mass has to go up. And for it to go up, we had to actually do work. So it's not going to naturally do that. So it's a stable equilibrium. Okay, now here's a neutral equilibrium. Any displacement does not change the height of the center of mass. So here, here again, we have an, a round object. The green line represents the center of mass. Um, and if we roll them, it's still right through the center. So uh, the center of mass neither goes up nor down, so it's a neutral equilibrium. And here's unstable. Any displacement lowers the center of mass. So it kind of wants to do this. So we have the center of mass, the smiley face. Here's a line 
that I put there as a reference point. So if we give the um, little push, what will happen? Well, obviously, it topples over. And the reason being is the center mass wants to go down. Okay, because it was kept artificially high. So that would be unstable equilibrium. 